Hello guys, my name is Arman. Welcome to this tutorial. We are going to learn how to work with layout panels in Rhino. So as you can see, we have already brought a plan and a section in this top view of the Rhino's viewport. Uh, the first thing you should do to create a layout is to uh, left click on this plus icon you have at the bottom of your uh, Rhino's viewport and then click on a new layout. After that, you can see that this uh, settings window will pop up and the first part of it is to uh, define the uh, name of the layout that you are going to create. So I'm going to change it to, for example, layout number one and then uh, you should select your printer. It can be your printer device or your uh, PDF creator and in this case, I'm going to choose Adobe PDF. If you click on this uh, arrow you have here, uh, you will see other devices that you have installed on your computer. So uh, the next thing is to choosing between the sizes that you want for the layout panel. So in this project, I'm going to uh, leave it on uh, A4. Uh, you can also uh, choose A3 or uh, whatever dimensions that you want for your layout. So Next part will be choosing between the portrait option or landscape option, which I'm going to uh, check the landscape. And the next part will be um, choosing the uh, counts of the initial details, and I'm going to leave it on one. So uh, next I'm going to hit OK. So this is the layout that we have created with the settings panel. Uh, as you can see, we have a rectangle here. It's not going to be shown on your PDF or your uh, printed paper because it's just an area that shows you uh, your plans and your 2D drawings are inside uh, this region. So uh, if you want to pan your plan and your section or uh, whatever you have in your model, you just have to double click here and you can easily uh, move it with holding um, the right click of your mouse. So I'm going to put it, for example, here. And uh, I want to make this a scale um, 1, 100. So I'm going to this properties uh, panel we have here and then uh, type 100 in the model section. You have two sections here, layout and model. Uh, you just need to change the number of the model. So uh, I just hit enter and you can see that it's scaled to 1 100 but it's too big for this region so I'm going to uh, reduce it to for example uh, 250 it's too small for, um, for instance I'm going to change it to 150 I think it's gonna fit here yes that's true so uh, that's it you have created your layout with a scale of 1 100. Uh, if you want to add some other detail views, you just need to arrange your uh, 2D drawings positions here. So I'm going to click here and then uh, choose these control points and move them, for example, to here, double click inside and right click and uh, pan it, for example, here, change the scale to 200. And that's it, I have my plan. Here and I'm going to check this box, uh, which helps us to lock the view, and uh, we cannot move or pan or zoom in or zoom out after we check this box. So I'm going to double click again, and you have this view here. Uh, and now I want to add a new uh, add a new detail. So I'm going to right click here, click on new detail, and then uh, I will draw a rectangle over here, for example. Uh, like this and then double click inside I want just my section uh, it can be here and I'm going to type it for example on uh, 300 that's it uh, I just need to change the area of this uh, detail view so I'm going to move this control point here so that's it and uh, Actually, I have to check this light box. Uh, you have your sheet, and now I'm going to add some uh, text and legends over here. So, drawing a rectangle, for example, like this. Copy that. 
with uh, holding alt and moving the gamba and another one here okay uh, and I want to type something here for example I'm going to drafting panel and then click on text and uh, I will type for example this is a test for creating sorry for misspelling creating a layout in Rhino 7 with Armon it's too small so I'll double click on this and I'm gonna change it to for example 1 and hit OK click on this control point and just move it that's it you can add some more text uh, you can add your scale number for example I'll type SC1 uh, 300 okay and you can type it in here for example if I have any uh, logos I can uh, put them here or wherever I want and that's it you have created your layout so for printing or creating your PDF you just have to hit Control P but before that as I said before uh, these rectangles are not going to be shown in your uh, PDF uh, paper mm, for creating those you just have to create rectangles on these regions for example like this and like this and you have your rectangles here because as you saw before uh, we did it with the rectangle command so now I'm going to hit Control P and these are my uh, views and you don't need to change any of these you just have to uh, click on this print so this is your layout PDF uh, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial stay tuned with us we are going to have lots of uh, tutorials in this channel about Rhino uh, I hope you enjoy them all see you soon